Hi, welcome back to Sadie's Spincraft. Today we are going to dye some baby camel and cashmere. Uh, we're going to be doing it in the crock pot. Um, I am going to do a voiceover just because I can try something new. <laughs> um, yeah, see you soon. So in here, we I'm going to show you the blue that's already in. Looks purple, but it's delphinium blue. So that's why it looks purple until the acid gets added. So here I am adding the acid, and you'll see it turn blue as it gets stirred. Just stirring it now. You can see it turning blue. It's like magic. I do like it. It's lovely. So then I'm going to add the dry fibre. Once I've finished stirring all that in and making sure there's no acid, citric acid particles. That's the word I was looking for. Particles. <laughs> so I'm giving it a good old stir. There we go. And in comes the fibre. It is not very absorbent, so I do have to try and push it in. And me being me gets dye all over my hands because I don't wear gloves. Hello, Tula. How are you doing? I'd get your nose out if I were you. <laughs> she likes watching me. So the reason why I wanted the blue in um, was so that it could soak through as much as it needed to and then I could add what I needed to on top. I do believe I pause shortly just so that I can get all the fibre in. But we'll see, I can't quite remember. Yeah, I did. So here comes the Plum Dandy. I do have a respirator mask on. Because I was messing with dry powders to start off with. I'm just mixing them into this little bit of warm water that I got out of the crock pot. I thought, well, might as well use the colours all together, seeing as they're all being blended. And I do believe I do the same when I get the purple as well. So I'm just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it to get rid of all that dye. Make sure it's all dissolved. And then on goes the plum dandy. You can see the fibre is not fully saturated, so it won't absorb as quick into those areas, but I don't mind. It's kind of what I want. So here we are. I'm going to grab some of the water, just swill that out into that bit and then get some fresher water from the other side. Yep, there's the purple. You can see where I dipped it in, a little dip where the pool of water is. Or the pool of dye, whichever way you want to see it. So on goes that purple. Oh, I do like that purple. It's beautiful. And then I do believe I just leave it now to do what it needs to do and how it wants to do it. Try and pop under the little bits of <laughs> air that's trapped in the fibre. And then I'll put the lid on. 
soon when I've finished messing. You know me, I've got a mess. Can't help myself. So here we are. All the dye has absorbed. And I won't bore you with the washing and drying. So let's get to the finished thing. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Let's see the dried finished yarn. Yarn, fibre. And this is what we got. So there's the blue that went in that were in the pot already that came from the jar, what we just left in the jar. And then the pinks are and the yeah, the pinky colours are from the oh what do we call it? The plum dandy, that's the one. So yeah, the pinks are from the pinks and reds are from the plum dandy. Then we've got as normal purple, and then we've got that like ready purple, where the plum dandy and the purple blended together. And I really am impressed with this because it will be getting blended with the plant fibres. This one's pearl top, uh, but there's loads of them, so I'm going to split little bits up and we're going to blend them with the plant fibres because it's just a little bit too short for me. I aren't quite that skilled yet. So yeah, I think it'll look good. And when I dye up the Polworth locks, they will also be part of blending with the plant fibres. So no matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye beautifuls.